Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a bath time and nighttime routine with the twins. Now I know I look kinda not myself right now, but it's not about me in this video. I went ahead and showered and put my, my um, pajamas on just to get myself out the way. So now it's time to tend to them. So just to give a rundown of the very first things that I do, before I put them in the bathtub, I make sure that everything is laid out for when they get out the bathtub. So I won't have to keep going back and forth because now they're at the age of where they're moving a lot. And if I have to keep going back and forth, they're going to be across the room by the time I get back. So I just make sure that I have everything laid out, everything ready to go, everything prepared. I'm, what I do is I just put everything on the floor. I'm currently in my bathroom right now, but I put everything on the floor in my room so that when I take them out of the bathtub, I could just lay them down on their towel on the floor and do everything I need to there. I no longer, well, I can't say I no longer. Sometimes I still do it on the bed, but I noticed that it makes it harder for myself because they move too much. So if I can put them on the carpet or in my room, it's a little bit better for me, okay? When you have twins, the, the what you're trying to do is make life easier because it does get difficult. Um, I will say the very first couple of times that I gave them a bath, I cried. Um, I cried because they were crying and it was just overwhelming. But I believe that they were crying because they just weren't used to being in a bathtub. Now they love it. They play, they don't cry, nothing like that. So if you are a beginner as far as giving twins a bath or if you have not even gotten there yet, just know that you may but you also may not go right into it with it's just easy peasy it takes time so i'm here as your witness proof that it does get easier okay so let me just show y'all the layout that i have on the floor it's not aesthetically pleasing or anything like that i just have the stuff on the floor this is literally not everything that i need but i just have the basics of what i need when i get them right out of the bath so as you can see, Kehlani is over there playing with the items, but I just have their night clothes that I'm going to put on them, two pampers, two towels, the body wash that I'm going to use for them, and then the um, Aveeno that I'm going to use as the lotion. So let's go ahead and get them in the bath. Hey, you guys. So after I have everything ready as far as the items they need after I get them out the bath, I go ahead and start the water. Now, I just test it with my hand to determine how warm it should be. Um, they do have devices where you can have like a thermostat that will tell you the temperature of the water. I even know they have bathtubs that come with a thermostat on it. But I just use my better judgment and use my hand, which has worked perfectly fine. So now I'm just, I'm putting there bathtubs in the tub prior to these bathtubs that you see right here i was using cloth ones but i noticed that when i would hang them up to dry they started getting spots on it and i think the spots were mildew so i was like uh-uh so i bought these from amazon they don't have any type of cloth on it it's like soft plastic so it doesn't hurt the baby at all and you just wash them off and hang them up to dry they have like a little hook in the back of them so you can hang them up. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put them in the water. And I don't fill the water to my desired height. I just do it enough so that their butts will be covered. Because what I notice is that if they don't have any water on their butts when I first put them in they will cry because they don't like the feeling of it being cold and just on the plastic so I make sure that I have water enough to cover their butts and then once they're in the water I go ahead and let it fill up just a little bit more because I don't want them to be cold while they're in the bathtub I just try to determine how they feel based upon how I would feel. And personally, I know when I'm in the bathtub, I like the water to cover me. Um, but of course, they're babies. So, well, 
when I say cover, I, of course, I don't mean my head, but I'm saying like, I don't like a lot of my body to be exposed to the air. So right here, you see me adding the Frida baby vapor drops. Now, these are good for if your baby is congested, which both of the twins right now, they are congested. They have stuffy nose. So with these, you can add them to a vaporizer or you can add it to the water and just swirl it around. So it creates the aroma and the vapors that helps the congestion. And I just put a pillow down by the bathtub because it hurts my knees a lot <laughs> so what you see me putting on the bathtub wall is actually hair scrubbers now it's really soft but I saw this in Target and I figured just I just wanted to give it a try because I just be using my fingernails and it doesn't hurt them. I know that because they don't cry, but I just decided to give this a try, which I actually end up really loving it. And it just pops, it just suctions right onto the wall. So that's great as well. So as far as their body wash and the shampoo that I use for their hair, I just use the Baby Dove shampoo. And I like this because it lathers up really good. I don't feel like it dries their skin out and it doesn't hurt their eyes or burn their eyes or anything like that, which is good when it comes to babies because you'll notice that they get the soap all on their face and everything like that. As you can see, Khalil is having the time of his life. Splashing Kehlani and splashing the water. <laughs> so when I have them in the bathtub, I always work from my left to my right. So whoever is on my father's left, that's who I start with first. And then I'll, you know, work my way to the next baby. So... It doesn't really matter however you want to do it. That's just how I do it. So I'm going to go ahead and lather the washcloth up. Now the washcloth I have, it lathers really good. And you guys, I know that may not seem like something that's important, but I noticed with the different washcloths that I've used, some of them do not lather up good at all. So I found, well, actually these were given to me from a baby for as a baby shower gift. And once I realized how much I love these, these are what I continue to use. They're the perfect size they're not too small because I noticed some of them are too small and some of them are just too big they're the perfect size and they lather up amazing so when I'm bathing the twins I work myself up from the bottom to the top so I always start with their feet so when it comes to their feet I make sure I get in between their toes you know how lint can sometimes gather up there <laughs> but I make sure I get their feet because you know they you know just like you wash your feet <laughs> they need their feet washed too even though they might not be walking but they have their feet you know in their mouths and when you stand them up somewhere it's just yeah <laughs> so I did her feet and now I'm just doing her legs and I'm gonna do her arms as you can see she is trying to eat the rag that's why it's and she's rubbing her eyes that's why it's so important to get a soap that will not bother their eyes or it's okay for them to like put it in their mouth of course not you know the goal is not for your baby to eat it but you know they're babies they don't know any better they put anything in their mouth So now I'm just going to go ahead and get her chest area and her neck and the back of her neck. It is so important to get your baby's neck, you guys. Like, the neck, it gathers so much dirt and it, it can even smell sour from 
them sweating to the drool to the milk rolling down their you know their cheek to their neck is you'll be amazed how much is under there and usually you know babies have a little meat on their bones so usually you can't their neck is not like exposed so I made sure that I get their necks <laughs> And I make sure that I get the back of their ears because the back of your ears do get dirty. Okay. I know I don't have to tell y'all how to wash y'all babies. Okay. You know, you, you should know. <laughs> but I'm just going through exactly, you know, the process that I do with my twins. And now I'm going to go ahead and get her private areas and her little booty. And when it comes to their face, I don't use any soap. I just wring the rag out and I just use the water that's on the rag to wipe their face. And as you can see, Khalil has his leg in the air. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that is something that he does often. So I sped up this part, you guys, because I'm doing the exact same thing to Khalil. And I didn't want the video to be too long. I hope that's okay. Now, I do want to say that with this video, I didn't really want to speed up a lot of parts, which kind of made it longer than what I wanted it to be. But I wanted you all to see exactly how long time wise it takes for me to get through the process um i know a lot of people watch my videos that may not have had twins yet and that is one of the things that i kind of wonder if you're anything like me i wonder about the littlest of things so i always wonder prior to the twins like how long is it gonna take for me to do this and that and this you know so i just wanted to show real time how long it really takes me so I didn't speed it up with Kehlani, but with Khalil, I sped it up because I did the exact same process. So now it's time to wash their hair. Now I wet their hair first. After I saturate their hair with water, I go ahead and put the shampoo in their hair. And that's when usually I would just use my hand to like, you know wash their hair but this time i'm going to use the scrubbers to wash their hair i'm going to get the exact name of it i don't have it in front of me i believe it's from frida i want to say frida is the bomb y'all if you have not watched my postpartum essentials video frida is the bomb they have stuff for after you have the baby while you're pregnant you know just different things they have it's they're just amazing they have postpartum essentials and they have stuff for the babies that you know you won't even think that you would need but it comes in handy so now i'm just scrubbing their hair i make sure that i get all around in the back on the top of the head, on the sides, just make sure I get all around. Khalil um, does have cradle cap. Now, Kehlani never had it, but Khalil definitely has it. So this scrubber actually helps with the cradle cap to get rid of the flakes. And it also says that it helps if your baby has eczema. Now, the twins do not have eczema. However, I suffer from eczema and my oldest son suffered from eczema as well. So when I first had the twins I noticed that their skin was dry and the doctor did tell me that they suffer from dry skin so that's why I'm trying to tackle it now so they don't have to go through what I am going through because even though I'm an adult now I still suffer from eczema So now I'm just using the rag to wash the shampoo out. Now this isn't, the Dove body wash doesn't specifically say it's shampoo. However, it's head to toe wash. So I love that because I don't have to worry about having one thing for body wash, one thing for um, shampoo. I could just use this for the whole routine. Okay, we are trying to keep it simple. So I'm going to go ahead and get them out. And I just do one at a time. I do see that K Khalil still has soap in his head, but I just got it out with the towel. Um, so I'm going to get Khalil first. 
and then I'll come back and get baby girl. In the meantime, she's chewing on those feet. So what I'm going to use as far as their uh, low quote unquote lotion, I'm using the Aveeno Eczema Therapy Balm. Now you guys, I love this product. It is so thick and it has their skin so moisturized. I did mess up one day and got the Aveeno Eczema Therapy Lotion that's like in a tube and it just does not hit the same. Like this balm that comes in the jar it is amazing and even though the twins do not have eczema just like I said they suffer from dry skin so I want to tackle it now and it keeps their skin so moisturized I absolutely love it you guys I got it from Target just in case you want to try it or if your baby suffers from dry skin I feel like even if your baby doesn't have dry skin I feel like it still will work amazing because it just keeps it so moisturized and it's not like it's like a oily moisturized like where it would get on the sheets and stuff like that it just their skin is just so soft and moisturized <laughs> so as you can see i am really like caressing his body so i read online when i was when i first had the twins i was reading online to see like what can you do to calm the baby down stop them from crying because they will cry so much Okay, so I read that, you know, just giving them a massage. So I massage them, you guys. When I get them out of the bathtub, I massage them. As you can see, I'm massaging his feet. I, mas I just massage their whole body. Like when I'm lotioning them, I just really like caress their body just to, you know, relax them because, you know, they've been on their feet all day long working them, working them. You know what I'm saying? Working a nine to five. Ain't did nothing. <laughs> Now, usually I don't do their after bath routine um, with a pamper on right away because I like to moisturize, you know, their butt, their private area. I like to moisturize their whole body. However, you know, for the sake of the video, I had to put that pamper on first. But yeah, I'm just moisturizing his back. And he stayed still for it. He seemed like he enjoyed it. I don't know. But Kaylani, she... Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying she didn't enjoy it, but Kaylani is just so active. She just was moving all over the place. So I'm finishing up with Khalil and now I'm going to go ahead and do Kehlani, which I'm going to go ahead and speed that part up as well because you saw the process of how long it took with Khalil. So now that you saw that, I'm just going to go ahead and speed it up with Kehlani. So you guys, one thing I want to mention is the reason why I do their routine on the floor is because they move around too much. Now, I know some people might feel like that, you know, why I put them on the floor and everything like that. But you guys, it is, it's okay. It's fine. Like work smarter, not harder when they are at the age that they are now and even older, because once they start moving around, it's just difficult. You know, they're constantly moving. As you can see, they're constantly moving around all the time so i will literally be stopping what i'm doing trying to get the other one from not falling so i just put them on the floor and do the whole routine right there So now that they're all lotion, I'm going to go ahead and put their clothes on. Now, Khalil, he is a sweater. So he seems like that he gets hot and he does not like like to 
You know how like you might hold a baby and they're facing you and like real close to you? He doesn't like that. He likes to be facing the opposite way. So his his face is away from you. And I noticed that he doesn't like to be like held too tight because I, I'm assuming he gets hot. He just don't like it. And I noticed that he will kick the covers off. So I do put him on a onesie. Now, sometimes the onesie is just short sleeve, but this time I put a long sleeve onesie on him and I don't put any pants on him. Now, Kehlani, she is just regular. Like she, you know, it seems like she does get cold. So I'm going to put a whole sleeper on her. And now I'm going to go ahead and speed up the rest of this part. So now that their clothes are on, I'm going to go ahead and moisturize their hair. So I use the, I want to say it's either Miss Jackie's or Auntie Jackie's. I want to say it's Auntie Jackie's. I just decided to go with this because I've seen it in Target and I was, I was using like raw coconut, raw coconut oil. Well, you know, it's like the oil where it's like, it's a solid until you put it in your hands and then it melts. That's what I was using, but I noticed that it was not getting their hair moisturized. So I started using this and I got it from Target and y'all, I love this. Like it really enhances their curls and it smells so good. So I use it for both of them, um, of course, because they both have hair and I don't want their hair to be like all dry. Now, I will say that I need to do a better job with putting it in their hair every day. Um, I don't put it in their hair every day, but I really need to because their hair, like if I don't do it every day or at least every other day, it'll get dried out. Um, but this is, if you're looking for something that enhances the curls and keeps the baby's hair moisturized, this is really good. I really like this. I swear, the videos make it seem like that I'm being so rough, you guys. I promise I'm not being rough. If I was being rough, she would be crying. But I promise I'm not being rough. But it does look like I'm being rough. <laughs> So now that I moisturized their hair with that, I'm going to go ahead and use this Erica J's Little Growth Oil. I think it's called Little Spurt Growth Oil. My sister actually bought this for them and I put it in the areas in their hair where I feel like that they are kind of like balding out. So for her, it's a little in the back, but it's, hers is definitely not as bad as Khalil's. Khalil, he's definitely bald in the back. <laughs> so... I know that a lot of babies will experience this, though, because it's from, like, being in their car seat or laying on their back. It's, you know. Now that I'm finished up with that, I'm going to go ahead and make their bottles, you guys. This is going to be the last feeding of the night. And I'm using my baby Brezza. And I mentioned this item and my things you need when having twins. I highly recommend this. It makes 
making bottles so much easier. I don't have to worry about scooping the formula out, mixing the water. It does it all for me. The only thing that I have to mix inside of the bottle is their actual cereal. But, you know, that it, it's just it making the fact that it makes the bottles for me. It just makes my life that much easier. So as you can see, Kehlani is having a fit. She was crying her tail off, you guys. I tried to give her a bottle and let her feed herself. She did not want to feed herself. So I had to stop what I was doing, pick her up, rock her, console her, and feed her that way. And then once she calmed down, I put her back down and let her feed herself. And then I did the exact same thing with Khalil. However, I held Khalil the entire time that I was feeding him because Khalil likes to drop his bottle. He likes to act like he doesn't know how to hold his bottle, even though he does. So now that I'm done feeding both of them, I turn the main light in my room off, which is the LED light, and I'm going to turn on the dimmable light in my room. The LED lights are too bright. It makes them feel like it's still time to be up. I turn the dimmable light on so that they can know that it's time to settle down, and I put it on the lowest setting or the lowest brightness rather. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same Frida Baby Vapor Drops. I'm gonna put it in my vaporizer because as I was saying, the twins have been really congested. So I wanna go ahead and get that handled, get that out of their system. After I put the vapor drops in the vaporizer and turn it on, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my Alexa. I do play white noise every single night, every night. So once I turn that on, I'm gonna go ahead and put a clean bottle on the baby Brezza. So in the middle of the night, if I need to make a bottle, it's already up there and clean. I could just make the bottle from my phone and just go get it from the machine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clip Kehlani's pacifier clip to her sleeper. At first, I was not doing that, you guys, but I noticed that they would lose the pacifier in the middle of the night. So if it's clipped to them, then they don't have to worry about trying to find it. They know exactly where it's at. Um, just put it be strategic as where as you put it so that when they're laying down it won't like poke them or anything like that so I lay her down as you can see she still was moving but she's laid down so I just let her move until she falls asleep and Khalil if you watch my 24 hours with twins you know that he does not fall asleep in the crib so I'm gonna go ahead and let him fall asleep in my bed and I'm just doing the same thing to him putting the pacifier clip on him so he knows where it's at, and I'm going to put the covers over him so he can go to sleep. Now I'm going to turn the TV off, and that's it, you guys. So thank you for watching this bath time and nighttime routine for the twins. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. Bye.